Hello, and welcome to episode 5 of the Photo Booth Owners Netcast. In this session, I am going to show you how to purchase and use one of our designs from the design shop and use it in Photo Booth 7. If you have not yet visited the design shop, you can find it at photoboothowners.com forward slash shop. In this session, I will show you how to locate photo booth templates, make a purchase, access the downloaded package file, and use it in the photo booth software. To get started, let's go to the photo booth owner's website and visit the design shop. From here, we can quickly search to find photo booth software by typing in photo booth. This will return all templates that are photo booth compliant. For this demo, I'm going to purchase the lime green damask photo strips. Selected here, I will click add to cart. Or I can go view my cart. Then from here I can proceed to the checkout as you would on any other e-commerce solution. Once you've made your purchase, you will receive an email giving you a download path where you can download your newly purchased template. I've done so here where I've already downloaded it and saved it to my desktop. So now let's talk about how to use the templates with PhotoBooth. Thankfully, the photo booth writers have made it pretty easy for us to do. First, we need to start the photo booth application. As I'm waiting for it. And from here, we want to go to the layouts directory. The easiest way that I know to do this is to go to layout editor. Go to the Advanced tab and click View Layout Directory. From here, we want to extract our template direct file into this directory. An easy way to do that is to move it into the directory, double click on it, and then copy the contents out of it. And then paste them into our directory. This time we can delete our zip file as we no longer need it. There is a photo booth template or settings file that is in each of our templates and then the standard package that we have with all of our templates which has the PSD file which allows you to make edits to the template, your license file, a background.jpg and a background.ping an overlay.ping which lays over top of the photos, coordinates.txt file which has all the coordinates for each of the uh, photo spots, you will not need it for photo booth, and a readme which has information. This is also included inside of photo booth. So to use this, we just simply go back into our photo booth. We can go under preferences and we can set it right here as our preference or preferential photo booth layout. We can take a look at how it looks by hitting test. Give it a few seconds to generate us a test image. And we can look at this actually a little larger. And as you can see, we have our pretty design. If you want to make edits or to look at other things inside of here, you can go in through the editor and do so. That is it for this session. I wanted to quickly show you how to purchase and use one of our templates with Photo Booth 7. As you can see, it's a pretty straightforward process, and we are working hard to make it even easier. If you have any suggestions or requests, I ask that you leave them in the design request section of the forums. This is also a great place to make requests for general designs. I will do my best to create designs that meet these needs. And with that, I will wrap this session. And happy boothing. And look for me at photoboothowners.com.